Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick 334. The Vampire Survivors Castlevania DLC collab continues today with John Morris. Gains an extra Arcana. V11. 7. Iron Blue Will at level 10. That means things will bounce. Can find special pickups and spawns Mirrors of Truth every 5 levels. Seems interesting. 5,150. Let's buy him. Jonathan's dad, I think. Ode to Castlevania. Let's get back to fighting and trying to find Dracula. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's... Oh, this bounces the spears too, so let's try and get those. One, two, three. Or the discus doesn't bounce. Okay. I need... I can't actually do this. I need to reread that description. Gains an extra arcana. Iron Blue Will at level 10. Ah. Well, good thing I went back to read that. Oh, I want that mess up the opening of this video. But that's what chapters are for. Always check the chapters. Alright. Well, I want to throw a lot of big blue balls, but... I need Moonlight Bolero because Moonlight Bolero. It's just too good not to take it every opportunity you can. Oh, wow. It just... Okay, Iron Blue Will. The rest of it's on the map. Knives will bounce. Access will bounce. Many things will bounce. Let's fill up my inventory ASAP so I can grab the other stuff. Gotta remember to grab the Javelin, too. gonna banish some of this stuff. Man, that's finally a weapon that actually attacks below you. That's a lot of damage, too, for a level one. <laughs> okay, what are we thinking for pickups for the ball? Duplicator? I don't know, I got a beginning and didn't duplicate too much. Let's see, what do we have? What's already by default? And Mirror Truth is also area, isn't it? Yeah. Sharp knife is on my base area by 24%. Cool down rates by 0.2 seconds. Get a floor chicken. Uh, empty Tome would seem too overpowered with this, I think. Uh, let's see. It's Bracer for the knife. Empty Tome for the Shurikens, and then... Oh, what was the Javelin? Javelin, Javelin, Javelin! What were you at? It's damage up. Not exactly what I want, but hey. It's such a nice niche, and it's so much damage, too. Considering how early it is, I don't have spinach or anything. Once it gets the bounces, it'll probably be really crazy good, too. And the axes cover the top. And sort of the bottom. This is sort of like an inverse axe, isn't it? A candle operator. Wait, wasn't it? No, it wasn't Bracer. They say you up 25% again and cool down down again. Let me hear truth. It means I get iron blue will. So many. Oh man. Oh, that's interesting. Definitely want spinach. Actually makes it kind of worse because it doesn't go straight down. It bounces on dudes first. That's kind of annoying. Oh, hand grenade. Yeah. Uh I can just look at this. I don't have to think. And I words for grenade, that makes sense. It was Spellbinder for the spear, for whatever reason. Iron Ball, he's damage up. Makes the screen shake something fierce. Oh, uh, what else? Assess passes, Toronas. Not a lot really does Toronas. It's really more special weapon stuff that does that. Okay, what are we thinking? Uh, you say you have 25%, cool down and down again. Another mirror truth. 
Definitely want a duplicator with this. More balls, better. Empty tome. Armadillo is some stuff. Oh wait, this isn't a chest. Out of all things. Ooh, Arcana. Banage. Five, X, Flash Arrow. That'll revolve off Bracer, too. That's a good one to pick up. Mad Grove is just going to grab. I wish I could grab the Alchemy Whip. Definitely one of my favorite weapons. It's uh, when it goes into Vampire Killer. Crazy cool. That Sunburst. Working's on the map. In fact, it's right here next to me. Them balls. Man, I got no passes. Kind of odd. So I'm looking for a flash arrow. Which hopefully, I didn't seal. Yes. Well, there's no arcana chest on the map by default here. It's like the first DLC that doesn't have it, right? No, Moonspell didn't. Have it. Armor? Armor. Big iron ball. Armor. Makes some sense. Definitely not Pumrola. There's no way it's Pumrola. Oh yeah, it's armor. Or spinach. Armor. Evolved iron ball. Fire is a heavy projectile. Right, let's see how heavy. Wow, that's huge. Alright, definitely want duplicator, empty tome. At least I hope it gets the benefit of amount. We got plus three on that base. Only firing off two. Um, it's a can of armor for one of them. Knife up two. Okay. Oh yeah. Man, it does a lot of damage. That's crazy good damage. All right, I want the. Karma from the arm go. The two of slots are gonna be empty tome. Vacuum. This is not very useful. Racer. Oh, you survived nothing. Let's get the neutron bomb actually. So, looking for a spellbinder, empty tome. Eh, I think I'd remember by now. Okay, it's in Labrador. Spellbinder, empty tome. I'll fill up those slots and then anything else can be grabbed after. And for weapons, it's gonna be flash arrow. And. I guess I could just go grab something from the merchant. I mean, cherry bombs kind of fit with this, right? Your bones, maybe. No, these don't get the benefit of iron blue. What am I thinking about? It's only Corelo. Flash arrow. Why is it not letting me select my arcana? Yeah, it's only Carrillo, so good. Wait, no, I need Javelin. Duh. Javelin and Flash Arrow. And then I'll get all the weapons I need. Then for it, I need Spellbinder, Kid Labrador, and Empty Tome. Get all that Iron Blue Will goodness in. Well, the grenade doesn't, but hey. It's still its own thing. Oh wait, I can evolve. Wait, you're not an evolution chest, what am I thinking? You're not an evolution chest either. Go fight a boss. No, just all the stuff here will just follow me because mad group. Arcana Goblin! 
And of course, when it evolves, it goes back to attacking up top, which is again yeah, what I wanted it for. Gherkin is on the map, and Grenade is not. The bomb is. Alrighty. What do we want? No. Wait, they can will? Good god. Or they can waltz up pearls? As well as Twilight Requiemen and stuff like that? Crazy, those spell books are insane. Oh, I didn't grab it. Beginning. Alright, duplicator. Well, I can get a duplicator from one of the armadillos. Now I have beginning. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Oh, you are not going to last long at all. For some reason, though, you're going straight piercing. Awkward. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. Empty tome! Everyone loves empty tome. Castles are not great. Gotta take this very cautiously. Oh wait, there's a vacuum right here. None of you. Vanish regular whip, go figure. Thousand Edge. An Arbiter evolves two things. Two things I want. That's nice. Get truth mirror. Throw them balls. Wait, I should just go take down the boss. It's gonna drag every pickup with me. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I should just run. Yay, there's my flash arrow. Now I just need the javelin. Does not seem to want to exist. Curved knife. I'll pick you up later. Off the ground. Oh, nice to have a weapon that just keeps you nice and safe from behind, hey? Knives, balls, grenades, arrow. Bubba, full arrow. Right, so looking for candle arbiter, spellbinder, or duplicator, and then just grab the first ones I see, and then armadillo up the one I'm missing, along with the karma. I sure keep you locked back. Then you're get damaged back by all these nice big balls. Axe to meet you, behemoth. I have plenty of chests along the way, so I can't afford to spend a few. You wait till all my passes are up before I grab that black chest too. Oh yeah, this should be well and easy to clear out everything. Uh, no, the tier GC just follows me with the mad groove. I have to go straight to the boss. Yeah, a bit of a rougher start, but he gets going. It's a really good starting weapon. Really good one. Uh, you give me a vacuum? There's a vacuum. Axe up. Flash arrow. Armor. Tails. Tails for John Morse. If all that stuff follows me. I can just go over to the bat. Oh. Well, that'll follow me anyway, too. I don't need to go searching for it. I got mad grooving. Try to survive axe and balls. There's nothing to it. It's worth grabbing. Wow, spinach wasn't maxed out yet. Ooh, and a vacuum too. Skull can wait. Not much in the way of levels. Okay, next boss. It's actually right there. 
Actually, no, it'd be better to take you out so that way the book starts following me earlier and I can just grab it ASAP. It's on the map. I'm going to grab it. Do not need stone mask for what I have. It's candelabra order. Good grief. Another one. Insane luck you're having, Mr. Morris. Slash. Swords. More swords. Yeah, the fact that there's more weapons means there's more characters or more secrets. I get, oh, that's Platinum Whip down there. Uh, slash with Flash Arrow. That's a good idea. Bad, I'm skipping the clover for now. No heaven sword. This one is always so far down. But not gonna stand much of a chance against this level of firepower. Granted, neither will I if I stay in front of it. Like that. Crab battle did not last long. Eesh. Give me the candle Arbador already. Oh, there's my big level up. Duplicator. It's nice. Bounce more balls. Oh man, I only have one rank of empty tome to this point. Crazy how unlucky that was. Banish the glass fedango because it keeps showing up. Flash arrow. some chests too. Yeah. Max is out and the bracer too, so millionaire time. Magic wand is a banish. There's my javelin. Woohoo. I need spellbinder or, or candle door. I don't have much left to pick up, so... Boom. 55. Good roundabout. Oh yeah, now we're balling. This is a really nice weapon. I really like this one. Never kill is going to be one of my favorite weapons in the game, but... Bamboo wall. Woohoo, spellbinder. And then I can finally arm a Dio. And, uh, Candle Arbador. And you get me the Karoma's Mana. Then grab you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Everything that exists under the sun is in the hands of John Morse. Oh, wait. Regular chest. Hey, Death Spiral. How's it hanging? Spell binding. Harmon. Aegis. We're gonna take it down to the top. All these chests finally get their day in the sun. Heads. They are gonna get so stolen. Okay, knives to keep them nice and in place, and then the balls bring the pain on the flash arrow. Oh yeah, I'm uh, ripping through them, no trouble here. Right, it'll need max out Candle Labrador for the grenade since that obviously didn't get it to me. Alright, so let's go fight Abaddon and Zephyr, get the last of the stuff that's on the map. Eleven minutes in. Oh, I filled out my inventory. It's nice when you actually get things that, you know, show up instantly. Ew. And, of course, it's five Arcana. Really helps. The one of them was free. More enemies. 
just open a little bit of luck to get some crowner. A little bit of luck? Ha! Huh, I've already had a ton of luck. I don't know if we we'll need Spellbinder maxed out for it. A javelin? Gotta get empty tone maxed out. Uh, bomb. I'll need Candle Arbador for sure maxed out. If it's not evolved yet, it needs to be maxed out. Evalonin. Here we go with the RPG. Let's blow them all to hell. Oh, Abaddon. Tell me what you got. Not gonna be much, if anything. Will you even reach John? I don't think you're gonna reach him. Not with his level of nonsense going off. Yep. Thanks for delivering me the chest right to my hands. Also, wow, is the javelin massively improved by having Iron Blue Will. Kind of lame without it, but man, that just a complete turnaround on how strong it seems to be. Also, look at them big old balls. Constant rain of death. Oh, give me Tronus box or something. Uh, more enemies is good. 50% increase on the time for a cosmic finger or for a golden finger too is crazy. I could get just Tail from the Future and sort of scam my way through with that too, but meh. It's a bit too overpowered in my take. Because there's no continue. You get Hail to the Future, you win. There's nothing that's really going to happen that's going to stop you there. Who needs to move? Why does this one always spawn in Atlantean? I guess when all three books are fired out. Uh, what is it? It's eight magic weapons, it said? It's one, two, three, four, five, six I have, so... No, between that and the whips, I don't have enough. Actually, when I get Richter, I'm going to have to get Hail to the Future, won't I? Just so I can get the candy boxes to guarantee I get them all. out the javelin. Up the Chroma's mana. Want the regular weapons up first over the spells. They're just there to support. All about the knife. Knife! 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 Deep knife. Wow, another one. Crazy. Oh. What do I... Three bounces to and Tragic Princess. Good grief, this spellbooks look insane. Absolutely crazy good. Do I have anything else that really even affects what I have? Well, we'll find out. Sapphire Mist. Chance for double falls? No chance. The enemy will survive this. And it's affected by luck, which I have apparently in a huge abundance of 40 luck and 6 arcana. Well, 1 is an 8, so we're like 4 arcana. 3 or an 8. 4 or an 8. So really, I only got 2 bonus arcana. On the other hand, it's way early than I should have this many, so that's the lucky part. And groove means I don't have to worry about leaving things behind. He might be a true Kill King coming up. John oh, Morris. And go after boss. This close to boss? Yes, this close to Medusa Head and Slower Guy and Gaiben. Disc us? Disc you. Come on, turn on his box. Good. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I need Stone Mask. 
for the Gemma Torpor. But I have the Bracer for Gale Force and the Pneuma Tempest, and the Spellbinder for Cross Fang into Octus. And Red Gems. Weapon first. Actually, no, I should get the rings and stuff when I see them. Well, the enemy increase in rings anyway. Oh yeah, it's a big level up right there. I think that maxes out the discus. Yep, it does. Oops. Well, of the a gale force of the weapons that are off. The most impressive by far. And I can't evolve it. How long will you last? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Five, six, seven. Eight seconds. He lasted like eight seconds, maybe ten. Should be able to evolve a javelin now. Yeah, this is. Long Inus. Long Itis. Shells appear after leaving the screen. Those will fire endlessly, basically. Yeah, I can drink after eating my. Whatever the hell to call this meal, because I only got an hour of sleep again. Yay, who needs to sleep when you got vampire survivors? Sure, everything about my body's falling apart. That doesn't matter. I got vampire survivors. Yagu shuriken. It's like knives, but shurikens. It really is just knives, isn't it? With probably a bigger area. Uh, I can get discus too for a stellar blade. Oh, and the block of knife. I have so much. Bouncy, bouncy kill stuff. Yeah, Stellar Blade. Is there anything else that can evolve at the moment? No. Now let's see if these red gems pop up anything enough. Two levels. Now that I'm getting red gems just on the ground, I'm at a very high level considering I don't have crown in the track orb. Ooh, in a vacuum. Okay, that didn't get me anything, so grab it and go. Still got doppelganger with the balls, which is actually going to be really annoying. <laughs> it's not going to hit it at all. A lot. Spears are just endless. Okay, I have a lot of Metaglio and ring to level up. Well, gold ring to level up. Silver ring is maxed out. Go up here. This is closer. And going back and then come back around. I like never go to the left side. I always come from the right. Gale Boss! Ooh, I'm gonna break 100k before 20 minutes if this keeps up. That Karoma is, man, it really adds on to your kill capacity. I get a bit of luck with the Bolero ch or getting Corona's box out somewhere. Yeah, if I had just gotten Halo Future 2, this would have been popping off like mad. I would have had a candy box. And the armor, all those endless armadillos. And the power that comes with them. Gale! Oh, Maximus. Uh, damage first, then upgrade enemies. Yeah, Rock Riot can wait. Okay, this will get me Panuma Tempest. Yeah, Panuma Tempest. I suppose it should be just be Numa Tempest, Silent P and all that. After all, I say the correct terminology for Paco Batlier and... So I Clarici and Victor Belmont and Chaos. Hey, there's a screen here. Did you know that? 
Oh, they're just coming in from the top of the screen? Okay, this is gonna be easier than I thought it would be. I did not think it would be too hard. Aha, it's a joke. Damage hasn't actually improved all that much off of where it was. But, uh... Yeah, I didn't even get my Thousand Edge going. Or I took you out with them big iron balls. Octus. That chest will just follow me elsewhere. Jump, John Morris, jump! The more the enemies get, the more they spawn in. And they aren't surviving this right. Maybe not quite 100k before. The 20 minute mark, but... Well, we'll see. Or am I going to be double wrong? Wait, I don't even know. need to use the teleporter. The next boss is just right there. My ball. Run back. Ooh, a tract orb. Tract orb. Less than crown, but still nice. Oh, I'm not even to the teleporter yet. Them kill count is going up fast, too. Yeah, looks like the 100k before 20 minutes is an option. That would be good. 150k? Of a less than idealized super run or whatnot. Let's get some ringing first. The Metaglio, right? Boy, it would be nice to actually see things on screen. That wouldn't be Vampire Survivors if it was. Yay, big level up. Gold rings out of rotation. That means Metaglio right should always be showing up now. As I say, is it's wrong. I don't really need the benefits of the Metaglio left at this point. So damage first. Every little bit of damage will help. Yep, there's the 100k before 20 minutes. And 5,000 after. Possible for 200k in the 30? We'll see. More tract orb goodness. I don't even know what some of these attacks are doing now. There's so much going on on screen. It's shaking, shaking like mad. There's a boss here somewhere. Oh, this is a level up storm, isn't it? A bit of a mini one. Boss. How long are you going to last, boss? Oh, let's say 25. Is your start... It looks like a five, uh, 10 seconds again. You're not impressing me, puppet master guy. Oops, I skipped out of that on accident. I'm trying to move. You get your groove messed up sometimes. I like to move it, move it. I like to groove it, groove it. Yeah, another eyeball. There's only the three bosses here left, aren't there? Yeah. The paranoid Gal... Not Galamaw. Gal... Gurgol... Gogurth... Bob... The guy you need to beat with Cruz... Soma? No. Julius had to beat it to unlock Soma. And Shadow Guy, which is full of tower of Gamora. Man, it's so far down, even with a, sh a little slip cut. Oh, my 25,000 before like two minutes. 
So, might, might just easily possible to hit the 200k that I was able to pop off so quickly. Down the bookcase we go. Where it stops, nobody knows. Random always. Oh, these could still be candy boxes and whatnot. Or they could be black item chests from the eyeballs. Now I need to pick them up to get things. None of the rooms I'm locked from defeating all these bosses. Nothing happens in Dracula's tower. Do I need to... Hmm. I mean, it doesn't say anything about uh, beating all the bosses with Richter in order to actually get whatever this scene is in the throne room. Probably a recreation of what happened in Symphony of the Night. Oh, technically, I need a rondo of blood, but... No one the really thinks about that. It's all about the Symphony of the Night start. Fun fact, in Rondo of Blood, Richter actually, the whole spiel they have is actually after Richter defeats him instead of before. Kinda of turn makes the conversation turn different, huh? Eyeball. Arg. I want Tronus Box, I want more curse. I want skull, I want more curse. I want Arcana so I can get here to the future so I can get more curse. If I get Armadillo, or if I get Candy Box to an Armadillo, I'd probably get... It would probably be best to get the Taronis Box, since that how offers the most benefits. Piece of damage and whatnot. Man, I'm being stuck on nothing. I should be lag breaking through all this. Yet I'm not. Okay. Hello, guy. Wow, you don't even get to be seen. And an eyeball, too. Candy box. Something, anything. And that's every boss defeated again before 25 minute mark, even. I see an arcana chest? No. I think I've been just about everywhere on the map. I suppose I could go to the throne room and fight some Gaibans, but I don't feel like it. They're very durable up there. Very durable. I wonder what happens if you bring other characters to the confrontation if you're in co-op. Does it not fire? I mean, it doubled the duplicator, or doppelganger. things. Come on, yay. Don't mask. Oh, kinda, yay. Don't give me gem or torpor. Oh, hey, gold finger. That's gold fear. That's basically never gonna run out. Yeah, even with my somewhat paltry kill rate. Or the halfway mark. Only one on the level. And think about how crazy it would be with Wicked Season on. This might have actually been the possibility to hit the million mark in the half hour. With the right amount of run. I mean, could this actually replace Abyssal Skari as the one to do for big killing? After all, there's so many weapons on the map. On the other hand, you want to focus on a small, intricate amount of things. Oh, wings. Weird. That before an evolution. 
And all the bosses are down, so I can't go do anything that wise. Freeze! Freeze everything. Knife everything. Iron ball everything. Discus everything. Hurricane everything. Scythe everything. Blow everything up with a rocket launcher. I don't even think the RPG is able to hit anything at the moment. My stats are going to be crazy. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, wait, wings. I haven't been leveling up that much. <laughs> There's a huge red gem somewhere out here. Now I can run like the wind. Not a lot of innate bosses showing up. You drop the some chests, so Bolero's more powerful than ever. On stages that have low evolution chests like this, white out moon glow, that would really shine well not moon glow too, but it takes no time. Yeah, papa. Gem, 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 gem. One eighty. Ooh, eighty thousand in only two minutes, or twenty thousand in only two minutes. The kill is definitely slowed down by now. Necessarily so. Hey there, Gemma Torpa. Torpor. Gemma Torpor. That one doesn't bounce, that requires Walter Pearls. Triple IS Arcana Chest. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, kills aren't going up fast enough, they're just a bit too durable now. And not, or not spawning in enough. Still, almost 200k. Off of a you know, thrown together build like this. That's not the bad, worst situation in the world, as it were. Hopefully. John Morris has done another, then next up is going to be Eric Lacard, get that Spear Evolved. That'll unlock Shinoa. Beat a stage with her. I could just do Moon Glow. That would be lame. I want to do Ode to Castlevania. Ooh, ooh. Give me some good. Yeah. Hollow Heart. That's that's not good. I would want Hollow Heart. Eh, I even barely break over 190k. Oh, right, I need to keep. I needed to keep moving so that way I could have got levels and limit breaks and extra attacks. Well, 190k is not bad. Not bad at all. It's almost a fifth of the way to a million. Yeah, if I kept moving, it probably would have fixed. Act. It lags enough. Oh, there was a chest in there. That was a nine or one hundred ninety-six thousand four hundred fifty-eight. Pretty good run, all things considered. Only one achievement. Halfway down, Lucky Chinoa though. Wrecking Ball did the most damage, twenty-one uh, k total, mostly because it was there for basically the whole run too. But that's a lot of damage. Numa Tempest caught up. Was going to catch up with 30k, but Wrecking Ball still did a lot. Uh, Millionaire, of course, also really good. Much less time. The Wrecking Ball Tempest is crazy good. Absolutely insane. If you can keep up with Millionaire, surpass it even. Otherwise, why are those ones grayed out like that? That's weird. Octus doesn't seem to be doing much, and Gemma Torper basically had no time. But was already doing more DPS than Coctus. Oh, that was a 
Crazy good run. One million on the axe. Uh, Death Spiral did 19. RPG did 13. Longitis. Oh, Longitis, the spear that pierced. Oh, Christy Christ. Uh, yeah, Shuriken, Block a Knife. Those are mostly suffering from being last at later evolutions and stuff. They'd probably be better if I got them before things got silly. As maybe Eric will demonstrate with the Elkhard Spear. Eric Lecard becomes invincible and deals damage to nearby enemies for 20 seconds when health reaches a critically low level. But that'll be for next time. So Jonathan's dad has completed his journey, bringing us up to 1,967 character stage combinations done. 97 characters in total. There. Give us 360 to go. Big iron balls. Big iron win. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe. And thank you anyone who already has. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around with the Vampire Survivors Beswick, Ode to Castlevania style.